Hockey Beach, it's 1688 with KMH 4021, Leafs Fan 18, and Alex Tool here. And currently, Alex is the one is the current champion with two thousand two hundred dollars, and this time he's elected to go head to head against KMH four zero two one. Not a chance. And if you saw it last time, Alex dethroned uh, Mark, who had left us with a one-game winning total of eleven thousand dollars, but who also left us with a bit of a strike. And we won't go into detail about that. But I also want to welcome Kyle to the contestant pool. And and of course, you all know how this works. You each will answer series to toss the questions high or low. And whoever wins the question gets to play their cards high or low. Best of three games, whoever wins two gets to go to the money cards play for $32,000. So without further delay, are we ready? Yeah. All right, ready. let's do it then. First question always goes to the champion, and in this case, it's Alex. Alex, we asked 100 babysitting teenage girls. Teenage girls are babysitters. And we asked them, did you tell your mother you were babysitting when you were really out on a date? How many of these 100 teenage girl babysitters said that they did tell their mother they were babysitting when they were really out on a date? Oh my gosh. Um, well, I think I wouldn't say that much, though. I will lie to your mother. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No. Well, I probably wouldn't say that much. I'd say, like, 18. 18 of 100 teenage girl babysitters said they told their mother they were babysitting when they were really out on a date. Kyle, higher or lower than 18? I've had my share of uh, baby teenage babysitters go out on a date when they're really supposed to be babysitting. So I'm gonna say higher. Going higher. If it is higher, Alex. Will play, if it is higher than 18, Kyle will play his cards. Alex, if it is 18 or lower, you will play yours. The actual number of teenage girl babysitters said they were babysitting when they're really out on a date is 11. It is lower, not higher. Ah. Ah. Alex, your base card is a four. You can play it or change it, seeing as you won the question. Alright, I'll keep the four, and I'll go higher. Higher than a four? It is a ten. I'm going to freeze. Alright, not giving Kyle a chance at the cards. But Kyle, the next question goes to you. Okay. Kyle, we asked 100 men who are living with their brother-in-law. Do you owe your brother-in-law money? How many of these hundred married men said yes, they owe their brother-in-law money? <laughs> Shit. That's much. Um, I'm going to say it's a low number. Like, I'm going to say 34. 34 of 100 married men who live with their brother-in-law said that they owe the brother-in-law money. Uh, Alex, higher or lower than 34? Well, uh, there's um. I'm going to say just a little bit lower. A little bit lower. The actual number of these married men who said that the older brother-in-law money is... 43! It is higher, not lower. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kyle, your base card is an ace! Oh, yeah, so it has to be lower. Lower than an ace. It is a jack. I'm going to go lower. Lower than a jack? It is a nine. Freeze. Freezing on the nine, not giving Alex a chance of the cards, putting you two cards away from game number one. But Alex, the next question goes to you. Alex, we asked 100 psychiatrists, would most women have a better life with a younger man? How many of these 100 psychiatrists said, yes, most women would have a better life with a younger man? Hmm. Well, uh, I would say it'll be... Like, somewhere right in the middle is my guess. I'll say about, like, 57. 57 of 100 psychiatrists say that most women would have a better life with a younger man. Kyle, higher or lower than 57? I mean, yes. I mean, women love young, attractive, muscular men. So, I'm going to say higher. Going higher. The actual number of psychiatrists say that a woman would be better off with a younger man is... 39! It is lower, not higher! 
so to have a better life for the wow. younger man, I should say. And Alex, you have that 10. Change it, please. Okay, when you win the question, you can change the base card. The 10 becomes a 5, a little better. Eight. Higher. Higher than a 5? It is a king! Lower. Lower than a king? It is a jack. Lower. For the first game, lower. Oh no, it's a king. Ooh, back to those. Ooh, back to that five. Now, Kyle, you have a chance here, but you have to play the nine. You did not win the question. You cannot change the base card. Okay, so. Lower. Lower than a nine? It is an eight. Seven plus one. Oh, God. Uh, Kyle, I would suggest that you freeze on it. Yeah, please, freeze. All right. Putting you one card away from game number one. This is the fourth to final question. Someone must win on this play of the cards. And the question goes to Kyle. Okay. Kyle, we asked 100 people, have you been bitten by a dog? How many of these 100 people said, yes, they have been bitten by a dog? I mean, sure, yes, people are very stupid and they can get bitten by a dog, so it's going to be a high number. I'm going to say 62. 62 of 100 people said they bitten. They have been bitten by a dog. Alex, higher or lower than 62? Well, I say a lot. Some people have been bitten by dogs, so I'm going to say a little bit higher. A little bit higher. The actual number of people who say they've been bitten by a dog is... 39! It is lower, not higher! Okay, now Alex, or I mean, uh, not Alex, but Kyle, here's the situation. You have a base card of an 8, you have the option to change it, or you can play it. You need one card for game number 1. Alex, with a base card of a 5, needs 3 cards. You can play the 8 or change the 8 and get that one card. And, or you can pass it to Alex and he'll have to play off the 5. What's it going to be? Please change it. Okay, you're gonna play. Okay, you're gonna change the eight. If you goof, Alex wins. If you if you make it good, you win. Your base card is a six. Ah, uh, higher. For the first game, higher. It is a seven. Yes. Kyle wins game one. Alex, this is make or break for you. No problem. This is make or break for you, Alex, and Kyle is up one zero. And first question, and this is round two. And the first question goes to Alex. Oh boy, get ready, everyone. Alex, we asked 100 single women, is it a sin for a married man to have sex with another woman? How many of these hundred single women said yes? It is a sin for a married man to have sex with another woman. <laughs> <laughs> Why she would react to this? <laughs> oh shit! Oh man. Um. Well, no, no. Well, well, well. I wouldn't say that many guys would whatever do that though. But it's just a single women. Uh oh. Right. But is it a sin for a married man to have sex with another woman? How many of these single women said it is a sin? Um, I think it's going to be a very high number. I say 75. 75 of 100 single women said it's a sin for a married man to have sex with another woman. Kyle, higher or lower than 75? I doubt that a lot of religious women would go nuts over this, so it's going to be lower. Going lower. The actual number of single women who said it is a sin for a married man to have sex with another woman is... 69! It is lower! It is indeed lower! And Kyle, your base card is a 10. Uh, can you change it? Yes, you can. You won the base, you won the question. You can change the base card if you wish to. Is yes, that what you please. want to do? Please. Okay. You're going to change the 10 to see if you can make a good change. The 10 is now... Another 10. I'm bomb, suck it! Uh, lower. Lower than a 10? It is a 5. Higher, please. Higher than a 5. It is a queen. Uh, lower, please. Lower than a queen. It is a 7. Uh, 
Freeze. Freeze it on to seven, putting you one card away from game number two. And Kyle, the next question goes to you. Okay. Kyle, we asked 100 first graders. Does your dad make over a million dollars a year? How many of these 100 first graders said, yes, their dad makes over a million dollars a year? Mm, a lot of rich families with that kind of salary. Yeah, whoever whoever makes a million dollars in a year is, is very rich. So, I'm going to say it's a low number, so I'm probably going to say around 30. 30 of 100 first graders said their dad makes over a million a year. Alex, higher or lower than 30? Uh, I'm going to say a little bit lower. A little bit lower. The actual number of first graders said that their dad makes over a million dollars a year is... 49! It is higher, not oh. lower. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Kyle, a big opportunity for you. You have the seven. You can change it if you want to. Please. Okay. See if you make a good change. The seven is now... A five. Okay. It's a little better. So, higher. For the championship, higher? Yes, the nine! Yes! And Kyle is the new champion. Alex, you're leaving us with $2,200. But we'll bring you back for another episode. I can guarantee that. But for now, we have a new champion in KMH4021. And here we are at the base cart, at the money cards rather, with a Cam H4021 for the first time. And Kyle, for winning this game, you get a bonus chance at a at a jackpot, which will come later on in the show, which will come after the money cards, I should say. And also, for winning this game, if you can make it to five games, we'll give you an additional ten thousand dollars at the end of the road. And if you make it to right. ten, we'll make it twenty thousand. And regardless, and however much, however many games you win after that is an additional thousand dollars in your bank that you will claim at the end of your run. But for now, let's get to the money cards with KMH4021, and we'll start you at the bottom row with $200 of betting money. Bet your way across three cards. Bet moving to the second row, give you another $400 of betting money, where you bet your way across another three cards. $50 of betting bet you get to the top card, the big bet, where you must risk at least half the money. And if you double-double all the way, that's $32,000, and we certainly hope you can do that. And if the same card comes up, it is a push, meaning you do not win, and you don't lose. And you also get to change the base card one time per line. So, good luck to you, Kyle. We're all behind you. Here's $200. Let's hope you can turn it into $32,000. For $200, Kyle, you start off with a three. All right. I like to call the big bet the big deck. <laughs> so, so, higher. A little bit higher. Okay, betting it all. Higher than a three. It is an eight. Seven plus one. You have four hundred dollars in an eight. One hundred fifty lower. Well, you can change it if you want to. Oh yes, please change. I forgot. Okay, with one, two, or three. Uh, two. All right. Let's see if we can make a good change. The eight becomes a ten. Ah, fuck! So good. <laughs> okay, now 150 lower. Okay, 150 dollars lower than a 10. It is a nine. 550 dollars, and you have a nine. Okay. Okay. So I have how much now? You have 550 dollars. 550. Okay. And a base card of a nine, you have to play it. Yes. So I'm going to say 200. Uh, lower. $200. Lower than a 9? It is a 3. You have $750 moving to the second row. You give me another $400 of betting money. You now have $1,150 and you have a 3. Okay, all of it higher. Come on, double or nothing. Higher than a 3. It is a 7. $2,300 and a 7. Okay. You can change it. You are on a new row. I would like to change that. 1 or 3. Uh, three. All right, let's see if we can make a good change here. The seven becomes... A deuce! All right, all of it higher! Can't lose with a deuce. Higher! 
It is a jack. 4,600 and a jack. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, all of it lower. Oh my, that is a gamble. $4,600 lower than a jack? Oh no, it's a queen. Oh, Kyle, that's only $200 from the game, but you can make it up with the jackpot. You have one you have one chance at a card with a dollar sign, and the jackpot is worth thirty thousand dollars. One, two, three, four, five, right. six, or seven, Kyle. Well Kyle, if you can win the jackpot here, uh that would certainly uh make up for what just happened to you in the money cart. Oh yeah, that would definitely make it up. So I'm going to say four. Alright, this is his only chance. Is the dollar sign behind four? No, it is not. It was behind three. Oh, that's what no I was way. Say. God dang it. But Kyle, nonetheless, you will get to come back for another show with $200 in your pocket. And we'll see you all for my next episode of Car Shark. So long, everyone.